Seville is the capital city of the Andalusia region in southern Spain, known for its rich history, stunning architecture, delicious food, and vibrant culture. It's a city that seamlessly blends modernity with tradition, featuring beautiful Gothic and Moorish buildings alongside trendy bars and restaurants. Seville is also famous for its flamenco music and dance, making it a hub for arts and culture. Whether strolling through the picturesque streets, trying tapas at a local bar, or exploring one of the museums and galleries, Seville will captivate and enchant you. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Seville so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Plaza de España. This colossal monument was built for the Ibero-American Exposition in 1929 and stands in Maria Luisa Park. It's a semi-circular plaza edged by a canal and overlooked by a large, curved palace. The palace contains many of the city's administrative buildings, but the reason to visit is to walk beneath the gallery. You'll see busts of important national figures and little installations for every province in Spain. Using typical civilian, these displays showcase details like the local food and famous monuments in each part of the country. At number 9 is the La Giralda. An enduring emblem for Seville, the Giralda is the bell tower right next door to the cathedral, and you can purchase a ticket for both attractions. It has Moorish origins, being the minaret for the former mosque. What's unusual about the tower is that 34 ramps lead to the top instead of a stairway. This was so that Muezzin, who led the call to prayer, could ride his horse up the tower instead of walking. To break up the monotony of the climb, there are regular archaeological exhibits on the way up. At number 8, Seville Cathedral. This enormous structure is like a little world on its own, and you will lose hours staring in awe at the beautiful architectural flourishes, relics and historical curios. With 80 different chapels, it's the largest cathedral in the world by volume and is a World Heritage Site. There are hints of the mosque that once stood on this spot, especially in the Court of the Orange Trees on the north side, where Muslims once performed ablutions. The big photo opportunity inside is the tomb of Christopher Columbus, but there's something spectacular at almost every turn. At number 7, Maria Luisa Park. The largest green space in central Seville originally belonged to the nearby San Telmo Palace, dating to the 1500s. In the late 19th century, the grounds were donated to the city by Infanta Luisa Fernanda and took their present shape after a remodel in 1911. Maria Luisa is one of those parks with a pleasant surprise down every path, whether it's an ornamental pond, pavilion, sculpture or tiled fountain. The park's broad avenues have twin rows of tall palm trees, while the body of the park, woven with little trails, is a large botanical garden with unusual species from around the world. At number 6 in our list, Triana. The Triana neighborhood is on the left bank of the Guadalquivir, opposite the Old City. This is an earth part of the city, credited for many things people associate with civilian cultures, like painted ceramics and flamenco. The main way is via the Isabel Bridge, close to the bullfighting arena. You'll arrive at the Plaza de Altozano, which has a much-photographed statue of a flamenco dancer, a monument to the flamenco art. 
check out the area's Moorish revival and Baroque architecture and pop into one of the many tile and ceramics shops for authentic tiles. At number 5, Isla Magica. Found on Isla de la Cartuja, Seville's own amusement park, Isla Magica provides fun in the sun for all ages, heart in your mouth roller coasters, family friendly attractions, and dozens of live shows that the kids will love. Thoughtfully laid out, the park is spread into theme zones, each with its unique rides and attractions Ancient Sevilla, the Amazonia, and El Dorado, just to name a few. Since the sizzling Seville sun rarely relents, the saturating water rides are a treat. Meanwhile, the dizzying 765-meter-long Jaguar coaster is heaven on earth for adrenaline. At number 4, Aquarium of Seville. A fun-filled must for any family trip to Seville, the Aquarium of Seville is home to over 400 different species of colorful fish and sea creatures of all different shapes and sizes, over 7,000. While the 35-plus different tanks each boast their unique combination of creatures, the bull shark-infested tunnel tank steals the show. Throw in regular live feedings, touch tanks, and educational workshops and talks, and you're one of the best family-friendly attractions in Seville. At number 3 in our list, Italica. Get on a bus at the station at Plaza de Armas, and within half an hour, you'll be at the Roman Emperor's Trajan and Hadrian's birthplace. Italica is a massive archaeological site, the highlight of which is the arena. This seated 25,000 spectators in its heyday, and you can nose around the tunnels beneath the terraces of seating and see the underground structure at the center of the arena. On what would have been the seats of the ancient city are the foundations of mansions and temples, where complete mosaics can still be seen. At number 2, Guafalquivir. Starting at the Isabel Bridge, you can set off on a very enjoyable riverside walk south towards the University of Seville. On a sunny day, Seville's residents will be out for walks, riding bikes, jogging or sitting on the stone walls looking across the water to Triana. You can come off the riverside to see the Plaza de Toros, the 250-year-old bullfighting arena. Further down is the Torre del Oro, an ornate watchtower erected during the days of the Almohad Caliphate in the 13th century, now housing a maritime museum. Check out the number one places in our list, Feria de Abril. Southwest of Seville, in Los Remedios, are the fairgrounds where this five-day event takes place, beginning on a Tuesday and wrapping up with fireworks on a Sunday. The scene will almost knock you off your feet, where some thousand tents are erected, and guys and girls go around in traditional costumes. The women will wear the Traje de Gitano, typical polka dot flamenco dresses, while many men will wear short waistcoats and wide-brimmed hats. During the fair, People will eat, drink and dance traditional Sevillanas until dawn. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Seville. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.